Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. My name is Coaster Child, Doncaster born, Bods, built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Where today we're going to be talking about Samurai at Thought Park Resort because the ride is under a 95% dismantling as we speak. Um, it looks like it's very, very close to all pretty much being removed. Now, Obviously, we don't know the reason behind this. We do have some on-site pictures, as taken by Merlin's Beard on Twitter, so shout out to him. Uh, I've linked his Twitter in the description down below, so if you do want to give him a follow, that would mean the world to me personally. I know it would mean the world to him uh, on Twitter. Um, but yeah, go and check out the pictures on his Twitter. The pictures will be on display as we talk about this. But I'm going to share my thoughts on what this could potentially mean. So... Before we get started guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Go into the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel. And for now guys, let's talk a little bit about what I think could be going on around Samurai at Thought Park Resort. So, for those of you who need a little bit of history, originally located at Chessington World Adventures Resort, Samurai moved to Thorpe Park Resort in 2004, replacing the Calgary Stampede attraction. Any of you classic Thorpe Park fans remember the Calgary Stampede? Comment down below. Uh, riders are thrown in all possible ways by means of pods that are rotated on three different axes. The Mondale Top Scan is debatably the finest flat ride ever created, but Samurai is a tame example compared to what you'll find at your fairgrounds. Now, obviously you're probably thinking, what in the world is happening to Samurai? Well, as you can see right there on your screen, it is being dismantled, and from the tweet by Merlin's Beard, it is 95% dismantled. Now, obviously, for those of you who need a little bit of, um, of, of context, uh, basically Merlin's Beard officially posted on Twitter saying, Warning! Dismantling taking place! Samurai at Thorpe Park has today been 95% dismantled by the park. No news has been released on what is going to happen to the attraction as of yet. We'll give you an update when we have one, which is why I've linked Merlin's Beard's Twitter in the description down below so you can keep updates on the situation. Now, forums have been discussing, could it be undergoing a very in-depth refurbishment by the manufacturer's mind Al? Could they possibly be even replacing the old system with a new top scan? Whatever they're doing to it, they've certainly done it quickly because it looked very much intact when people were attending over the previous week. Now, this is very interesting indeed, and I'm going to share my thoughts as to what I think is going to happen with the help of a Google Maps image, and also talking about other parks that may be involved. So as you can see on your screen right now, fan dabby dozy, this is what the site currently looks like. Uh, on Google Maps. Now, obviously, you can see in the circle of yellow, you have Samurai, and you also have in the blue circle, uh, sort of like an aqua blue, uh, just to give it clear reading, is s part of the Logger's Leap site. Now, obviously, you're probably thinking the same thing that I'm thinking. Oh, here we go. He's predicting a Thought Park coaster. I'm not ruling it out. I'm not ruling it out. There could be a new flat ride. There could be a new... It could be part of the coaster site. However, it could just be general maintenance. You have to look at every possibility at this stage. Um, from the smallest possibility, so things like general maintenance, uh, a refurbishment by the manufacturer, um, different things like that, all the way up to the most exciting possibilities. New coaster, new major attraction or flat ride for next year. You've got to start thinking about different possibilities. Now, the reason why I said earlier, other parks included, this this sort of brings me on to one of my uh, other main predictions, which I'm going to talk about in detail right about now. A few people discussed this on forums recently, and the news broke today. But, I wanted to sort of discuss what I think to this potential uh, route of investment. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is speaking about Samurai, what could happen to it, but there's one particular route that I didn't explain about, and I want to sort of talk in detail about that now. What if Samurai is being relocated? Now, we've seen this done before, Chessington to Thorpe Park in 2004. What if the ride is moving again? What if the ride is moving? Now, I could be a complete and utter dumbo for thinking this, I could be a fool for thinking this, or I could end up being a genius with a crystal ball, and everyone's going to come running towards my house saying, can you predict the future, Mr. Chaloner? Um, 
it could go either one of two ways. I could be a fool or a genius about this. But, and it goes for other people as well, because other people have maybe said this as well. What if Samurai moving could be one of the attractions for next year at Alton Towers? Now, again, I stress this could maybe not a possibility. However, think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Think about it. A ride relocation program is quite a cheap way to go. I mean, it's cheaper than scrapping it and replacing it with a new modern thrill ride. A new modern thrill ride is going to cost a lot of money, even in today's market. So, you've got to think, imagine if you relocated the parts to Towers and you built it up and you built, built it in Towers. I mean, that would be a wonderful thing. And also, it means Alton Towers have got themselves a flat ride, a new flat ride for next year. Now, if this would move to Alton Towers, what do I think the theme could be? Well, you've got to think, what's the most obvious locations for this flat ride? Obviously, you've got to look at um, two of the three Retro Squad sites. Ripsaw site and the old Ugswinger site, where Dark, in Dark Forest is now. Now, where the Waltzer is, that's where Ugswinger used to be, in the now Dark Forest, but then known as Ugland, between 1999 and 2009. That was where Ugland is. Now it's known as Dark Forest as of 2010. You could put Samurai in there, theme it up. There were plans for like a Dark Forest flat ride. I think, well, that's what I heard. There was like scrapped plans for Dark Forest for something, I don't know what. I'll talk in detail about them and do a separate video on that. Uh, but there were rumours about like a Roboarm type flat ride to go into Alton Towers at some point, whether that be... Uh, in X Sector, Forbidden Valley, Dark Forest. There was rumours about that. So what if they're revitalising the robot arm place, uh, plans, but instead of it being the robot arm, it's a Mondale Top Scanner. Rather than pay for a new one, recycle Samurai, give it a paint job, give it a theme, and put it into Dark Forest. Again, same with the Ripsaw site. Think of Ripsaw. If you know your stuff, you know that the original name for Ripsaw was going to be The Screw. What if they reuse that name for Samurai rethemed into Forbidden Valley. Just a theory, just a couple of theories to put out there. So there's a few different routes to go uh, through here, both in terms of Samurai and also the future of Thorpe Park. For Samurai's case, is it being refurbished? Is it being maintained? Is it being replaced with a new model? Look at Enterprise at Alton Towers. They did a similar thing there. Uh, where they replaced the old model with the newer version of the Enterprise model uh, a few years ago and did some essential maintenance over it over the next few years. So again, we're looking at those situations. Again, are we looking at this being relocated to Alton Towers? If so, where will it go? Uh, and then from a Thought, a Thought Park point of view, is this for a new flat ride next year at Thought Park? Because obviously Chessington had a new flat ride this year and while they're focusing on the build-up to their new coaster for 2023, uh, you know, is Thought Park going to add a flat ride for 2022? It, obviously, Groundwork would have started by now, but maybe Thought Park will have a new flat ride for 2023. Who knows? Uh, or is it going to go to... Um, or, or is Thought Park planning their next major roller coaster during, using the Logger's Leap area and including the Samurai area as well? There's a million different one possibilities. Um, but I think overall, it wouldn't be out the realms, realms of possibility... The realms? The realms of possibility if it was included in the Logger's Leap Coaster Development site. And I did see on a couple of vlogs, I think Theme Park Worldwide might have said it in their Thought Park vlog recently, uh, there was murmurings and rumours about a coaster in the next few years for Thought Park. So, it, you know, we'll have to see what happens with that. It could just all be false talk. But again, this could be the start of a really exciting period for Thought Park and for Alton Towers as well with that, with the possibility of a, a new flat ride for next year being the relocated and rethemed Samurai and seeing where that goes. Maybe Subterra gets completely torn down and it gets put on that sort of uh, hill area next to Nemesis. Just, again, just a theory, but uh, not out the realms of possibility just yet. Uh, but there we go, guys. That is talking about Samurai and what could be happening to it at Thorpe Park Resort. Obviously, a nice discussion video this one. I've one of these in quite a while. Uh, I am planning some more discussion videos, so stay tuned for them. But for now, guys, that is going to be it. My name is Coach Shell, Coop, living the coast life. And I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Thorpe Park-tastic day. I'm getting way too excited. It might be nothing. <laughs>